Today I'm going to read to you a book that I actually had the privilege of illustrating. It is called Wiggle Worm Shape Adventure by Karen and Kathy Sills, illustrated by Virginia Jennings. Wiggle Worm wandered around his room. I have to find some shapes for school tomorrow, he said in a soft whisper. He crawled over slowly to his leaf bed and laid his head on something soft and round. Wiggle Worm began to cry. Boo! Why are you crying? Black Crow asked as he landed on the windowsill. Wiggle Worm wiped the tears from his eyes. He looked up at his feathered friend. I can't find any shapes for school tomorrow, Wiggle Worm exclaimed. Oh, said Black Crow. What about that thing your head was laying on? He asked, trying to help. Wiggle Worm looked at Black Crow and then at his pillow. It's a circle, he shouted, dancing around. Thanks, Wiggle Worm said. Goodbye, shouted Black Crow. Happy to have helped you, friend, he added as he flew away. Wiggle Worm stuffed his round pillow into a bag. I need six shapes for school tomorrow, he thought to himself. So how many more do I need? Six shapes minus one circle leaves five shapes to find, he counted. Wiggle Worm slowly crawled to the front door. Mom, he yelled, I'm going out to find more shapes. Okay, but be back by supper, she yelled back. Once he got outside, Wiggle Worm began to feel sad again. He looked everywhere, but he couldn't find one single shape. Wiggle Worm crawled up on a small box to look for more shapes. Wiggle Worm! Wiggle Worm looked around to see who was calling his name. He didn't see anyone around. He closed his eyes and began to cry again. Wiggle Worm! he heard in a soft, squeaky voice. Wiggle Worm jumped up and looked around again. Down here! Wiggle Worm looked down at the ground. There was Tiny Ant. Hi, Tiny Ant he said. Tiny Ant crawled up on the box beside Wiggle Worm. Why are you so sad? Tiny Ant asked. Because I can't find any shapes for school tomorrow, Wiggle Worm cried. Tiny Ant stood up and walked around. He walked along each side of the box. What about this box you're sitting on? Tiny Ant asked. Wiggle Worm jumped up into the air. Hooray, he shouted, it's a square, he hollered as he crawled along each side. It is four corners and four sides are the same, he said to Tiny Ant. Tiny Ant crawled back down the box. Goodbye, he shouted as loud as he could. Goodbye, Tiny Ant, thanks for your help, Wiggle Worm shouted back and watched Tiny Ant grow smaller and smaller as he walked away. I have two shapes now, Wiggle Worm thought to himself. If I ha need six and I have two, how many more do I need? Six minus two leaves four shapes to find, he counted. Wiggle Worm lifted the box up. It was heavy for a little worm like him. I can put all the rest of my shapes in here, he said. Then I'll add them all to my bag with my pillow when I get home. Wiggle Worm began crawling along the river bank, being very careful not to fall in. Once again, Wiggle Worm felt sad. He crawled up on a pointed rock. He was so tired, but he had to finish collecting his shapes before he went home. Boo-hoo, he cried. Flounder Fish jumped up in the air. Hi there, Wiggle Worm, he shouted as he went splashing back into the water. What's up? Wiggle Worm looked at Flounder Fish and cried. I can't find any shapes for school tomorrow. Flounder Fish looked at Wiggle Worm and then at the rock he was sitting on. What about that rock you're on? He asked. Wiggle Worm looked at the small rock he was on. He poked each point trying to figure out what it was. I'll give you a hint, said Flounder Fish. Twinkle, twinkle, he sang. Well, it's a star, Wiggle Worm exclaimed in a high voice. Flounder Fish went under the water and then poked his head back out. Gotta go, he told Wiggle Worm. Thank 
Thanks, Wiggleworm yelled as he put the star rock into a square box. I have three shapes now, Wiggleworm thought to himself. If I need six, and I have three, how many more do I need? Six minus three leaves three, he counted. See? One, two, three left. Wiggleworm crawled on. He felt tears come to his eyes again. He tried to find a place to look for his last three shapes. He sat down underneath an oak tree to rest. Wiggleworm looked at his square and his star, and he thought about his circle at home. All he needed now was a triangle, a rectangle, and a heart. I can't find anything, Wiggleworm cried. It's too hard, he shouted. Something hit Wiggleworm on the head. He looked up as Chester Squirrel poked his head out from the leaves. What are you doing? asked Chester Squirrel as he munched on his acorns. Why are you crying? he went on, not giving Wiggleworm a chance to answer the first question. Maybe I can help, said Chester Squirrel as he jumped down from the tree and landed by Wiggleworm. Wiggleworm looked at Chester Squirrel. He got so excited. Yes, you can help, cried Wiggleworm. I'm collecting shapes for school, and I need a triangle to add to my collection, he told Chester Squirrel. How can I help you, Chester Squirrel asked as he swallowed an acorn. Can I borrow your party hat, asked Wiggleworm. It's a triangle shape, he said, pointing to the hat. Chester Squirrel looked up at his hat. Yes, I believe it is a triangle shape. Chester Squirrel pulled his hat off and put it on Wiggleworm's head. The hat was too large, and it covered his whole body. Help! yelled Wiggleworm. Chester Squirrel lifted the hat. Sorry, he said as he placed the hat in the box. Wiggleworm thanked Chester Squirrel and headed off to find his last shapes. I have four shapes, he thought to himself. If I need six, how many more do I need? Six minus four leaves two, he counted. Wiggleworm crawled on. He started out having fun, but now he was ready to finish this shape hunt. He looked from left to right. He just couldn't find another shape. Wiggleworm took a deep breath. And about that time, Shaggy Dog came along wagging his tail. Hey, Wiggleworm, barked Shaggy Dog. I was just about to have a snack. Care to join me? Shaggy Dog flopped down in the shade. Wiggleworm crawled slowly to the shade. Shaggy Dog pulled out a bag of dog biscuits and took out a bite of one. Wiggleworm wasn't hungry, and besides, dog biscuits just aren't for worms. Shaggy Dog handed Wiggleworm a dog biscuit. Wiggleworm looked at the biscuit. Shaggy Dog, is this a rectangle shape? He asked. Yes, it is. I have other shapes if you don't want a rectangle, Shaggy Dog replied. Can I have it for my shape collection? Asked Wiggleworm. You certainly may, said Shaggy Dog. Wiggleworm put the biscuit into his square box. He thanked Shaggy Dog and then crawled away. I have five shapes, he thought to himself. If I need six, how many more do I need? Six minus five leaves one, he counted. Wiggleworm couldn't believe it. Only one more shape to find. Wiggleworm headed home, hoping to find a heart shape along the way. When he reached his house, he was crying so loud that his mommy cried out to, crawled out to see what was the matter. Wiggleworm, what's wrong? asked mommy as she cuddled him. Wiggleworm almost felt better. I can't find my last shape, he sniffed.
What's your last shape? asked his mommy. I need a heart, and he began to cry again. Wiggleworm's mommy smiled. Close your eyes, she said. He closed his eyes. Wiggleworm's mommy held up a heart-shaped card with a heart lollipop. You can open your eyes now, she whispered in his ear. Happy Valentine's Day, she said as she hugged him. Thank you, he exclaimed. Now I have all my shapes. Wiggleworm hugged his mommy. He hurried into his room, got his circle shape, and pulled out all his shapes to show his mommy. He began to count. One, two, three, four, five, and six, he said, as he took his last shape out from the square box. The end. I hope you enjoy this book. It was one that I had a lot of fun illustrating.